Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video and uh, another Ranking Things episode. We're back at it. We have a pretty fun one today uh, in celebration of the new Caves and Cliffs update part one that is coming out in just a couple of days here. I believe the release date is June 8th. For this new Minecraft update, we are going to go back and rank every single major Minecraft update all the way from Alpha and Beta uh, up to 1.16 and then like I said 1.17 does come out in a couple of days so I can't rank that yet but I'll tell you where I think it's gonna go in relation to everything once I map these out if you don't know anything about me uh, then I guess you wouldn't know that Minecraft is the best game of all time I've been playing Minecraft most likely for longer than some of you out there watching have been alive. I started playing this game in 2010, uh, before its, you know, main, uh, release. Um, I was in for the alpha, I was in for the beta, and even though I didn't really know what was going on, I, I was, have been playing for over 10 years now, which is just ridiculous. Uh, this game just never, ever gets old because... It can't. How could it get old? It really is my favorite when we talk about what's your favorite game of all time. Usually I say Minecraft, right? There's The Last of Us, which is up there for sure because that's just an incredible game. But that's not what Minecraft is. Minecraft is just fun. It's it's mindless fun. It's, it's, it's the best. I love Minecraft. So anyway, I've played through pretty much every single one of these updates and I'm going to tell you what I think about them, all right? And I do have up over here, I have each update and sort of the summary of what happened because I'm not that in tune with 1.4, 1.3, whatever it is. I don't have memorized everything that happened. So I'm gonna look through and, and refresh my memory. But without further ado, let's get right into it we have our usual s a b c d and we do have an f tier uh just in case i don't think any of these are going to go into f but we'll start with the one that i started in at least which was the alpha uh release this only went for a couple of a uh, couple of months before beta came out and i remember i forget when i started but my my one friend had told me so i went on my parents computer and downloaded it and played it and it was it was the best uh game that i had played at that point it was super fun i didn't know what i was doing i don't know man i'll put it in d tier it's not really it was an alpha right it was it was not even close to the game that it it is today uh, and the beta came out and apparently according to this picture some beds some pistons sticky pistons and and colored wool uh, were added um, again. I don't remember much about it. I just know that I played through it I'll throw it in D tier just because I don't remember too much about it and then the main full release 1.0 uh, Came out and again, I still wasn't really playing it as much as uh, As I would in future future updates But obviously the nether and the end and the ender dragon were all added and there was actually a purpose to the game which was to beat the ender dragon because up until this point you just built things and you were in you know survival or creative or whatever and uh you would just mess around but now there was actually a purpose i would put this in c tier because now you're you know you're building up to things you're you're figuring out what you're supposed to be doing and then 1.1 came around and as you can see the each picture little thumbnail has sort of the main uh, additions so here was obviously spawn eggs I'm gonna put it in C tier but let me go over and see what else was added uh, super flat world types were added and beaches uh, beach biomes um, and mo mainly spawn eggs so it was kind of a smaller update it seems like uh, which is why I'll put it in C tier as well then 1.2 came and it looks like jungle biomes were the big thing in here and if I look uh, we'll see what else uh, mine shafts were updated desert wells were added bottles of enchanting redstone lamps chiseled stone bricks as well as the iron golem as you can see and the ocelot 
the main thing was the jungle biomes and i love jungle biomes i'm gonna put 1.2 in b tier because jungle biome is probably my favorite overworld biome still today i love the jungle so stinking much the jungle is just the best uh and I might be biased just because that's where most of my early worlds took place in and I have the best memories from there. But really, Jungle Biome is just the best. Lots of mobs spawn, so it's not ideal for survival. But it is uh, it is very, very beautiful and it's so fun to build a treehouse. Uh, uh, it's just the best. 1.3, you can see Ender Chests, looks like Emerald Blocks, I would assume Desert Temples when this was added that's correct uh booking quills trip wires um and let's see ender chests and improved enchanting interesting i will put this with b tier as well because ender chests i do remember when ender chests were first added i was like this is the most mind-boggling thing ever like i have my own private chest and i wasn't really playing with other people at this point i wasn't playing multiplayer but they just looked so dang cool so even though I wasn't, you know, super impressed with the practicality of it because I was only playing by myself, uh, it was it was really, uh, really cool looking, I guess. And emeralds were cool, too. Uh, I liked getting emeralds. 1.4. Now these updates begin having titles. The pretty scary update. This came out around Halloween. I believe I want to say 2012. I will check uh, this thing. Yep. October 25th. 2012, 2012. Um, and it has obviously the wither was the big thing that was added wither skeletons the wither boss that you could spawn in uh, witches came in bats um, zombie villagers let me see what else uh, command block was a big one anvil uh, beacon potatoes carrots pumpkin pies bunch of stuff was added in 1.4 and this is when i really started playing I, my friend set up a server uh we set up uh, a server together i was playing on that with him uh, and all our all our buddies i i probably if you've seen my early videos that friend is anton i played uh minecraft with him all the time he's been on all my old minecraft videos from like 2015 and uh even before that so 1.4 i'm gonna put in the S tier. It's one of the best that I remember just because it's when I really started playing on servers with friends and uh, when I really started getting into the game and also just so much stuff really now looking back so much stuff but then I was really I think one of the other things it doesn't say on here but I'm pretty sure this is when they added like wearable player heads I guess with the command blocks you can spawn in because I, I spawned in like notches player head uh or whatever and i would wear it around and it, i don't know it was just stupid but fun 1.5 was the redstone update and as someone who t is terrible at redstone still to this day definitely was terrible when this came out in march 2013 according to the minecraft forum I wasn't super big about this update. I thought the redstone block looked a little weird, uh, and plus I didn't really understand everything that was being added. I did like the weighted pressure plates because they looked cool, iron and gold. But beyond that, this update wasn't really useful to me. I'm going to put it down in D tier um, just because I was not was not a fan, just because I it, nothing really applied to me. I'll go through and I'll look and I'll see. Uh, oh, quartz were also added. Quartz was was actually one of the things that was cool about this update. I like building in quartz. It's a very pretty block. But other than that, doesn't look like anything else too major came out in 1.5. It was called the Redstone Update, so that makes sense. 1.6, the horse update. Horses were finally added into the game. I had already, at this point, had installed mods and had horses that were... They were so bad. I mean, they were the worst mods in the world. But at least now we had official horses in the game. You can see hay bales there, uh, leads, which were huge, uh, huge addition for uh, herding mobs and not just horses, but literally anything you wanted to sort of herd into uh, a little pen. You could use these leads and it was a lot less tricky than using wheat or carrots for pigs or whatever. So this was huge. I'm going to put this in B tier um, just because I think there's a couple updates that are a little bit better than it, but 
as far as uh, just a major addition, horses made it were, were so awesome. I was mesmerized by these horses. Uh, 1.7 was called the update that changed the world. And it added a ton of new biomes, a ton of new blocks. It added colored glass, um, or stained glass, I guess. It added pods all. It, it, the, the two main biomes were the savanna, right? With the acacia wood and the dark oak biomes with the dark oak wood. Um, and I'm going to look and see, because I know there was a reason. I'll put it in A for right now, but I know that there was a reason that I did not like 1.7. I forget why. Here. It added many new biomes, generation structures, new flowers, stained glass, uh, and new commands and stuff. Let's see. I'm going to leave this in A. I don't remember why at the time I wasn't a fan of 1.7, but looking back, I mean, this is awesome. This is so cool. I don't know why I would have not uh, liked it because um, there were so many crazy new like biome generation updates. And then 1.8, the Bountiful update which was mostly a ocean update. It added the uh, ocean monument uh, with the um, uh, elder guardian boss and the guardian mobs. It added all sorts of, you know, the prismarine uh, blocks, the uh, sea lanterns and all sorts of things. And I think that's armor stands back there as well as granite. Um, oh my gosh, what the heck? Granite, andesite, and diorite, right? Were the three new uh, sort of um, stone blocks very cool and slime blocks too 1.8 I'm gonna put up in a as well this was a prime little run here for Minecraft updates and then they had to go and with 1.9 it just it really I don't know it with 1.9 I'm torn because it's called the combat update which was the main very controversial change but as you can see from the thumbnail it was also a very big end update it added so much in the end so much cool features but it just was dragged down by the ridiculous combat mechanic changes i'll put it in c for the moment just so i can explain this to you i'll start with the good the end was completely revamped. Once you killed the Ender Dragon pre 1.9, that was sort of it. You had no real purpose, no real reason to ever go back into the end unless you wanted End Stone. You only had that main island uh, to work with. Maybe if you wanted to make an Enderman farm, right? With 1.9, you now had, after you killed the dragon, a portal would spawn that you could throw your ender pearl into and go to all of these outer islands, thousands of blocks away from the main island, and go to end cities. This is what had end cities with elytras, uh, shulkers, purple blocks, end rods, which are, I love end rods now, dragon heads on these ships. I mean, so much cool world generation in the end gave the it gave it a lot more end game playability it was so 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 cool i it was awesome it was incredible and the elytra to this day is one of the most unique and awesome items ever added into minecraft but they had to go and ruin it because they completely ruined combat mechanics you used to just be able to spam click and do whatever this changed it so that damage values changed axes were now more did more damage than swords for whatever bizarre reason and you had a cooldown so you would swing your sword and there would be a cooldown before you could swing it again to deal the most damage and then it also added like if you jump and critical hit it would do like a sweeping edge effect and deal damage to multiple mobs in a bunch at once. It just, it was really dumb and unneeded and I didn't like it. But the only thing keeping it from going into the F tier is the fact that uh, the end was completely, completely redone. And is one of my favorite things to do is to go end busting and just go from end city to end city. As dangerous as it is and shulkers, shulker boxes. I mean, the whole nine really was a great update, but the combat just really dragged it down.
And unfortunately, from here, this is sort of where I s sort of slowed down playing the game. I still played Minecraft like you wouldn't believe, but 1.10 was, I don't even know what this was called here, Frostburn update. There was another update, and there was uh, sort of a, a ice update. There were polar bears, new, um, like, igloos and stuff that you could find, but in the nether... There was uh, magma blocks, uh, nether block, or nether, um, uh, shoot, nether wart blocks, and a couple other things. There were new uh, husk zombie, uh, sand zombie variations, <laughs> and drowns, I believe, were also in this update. Uh, there were a couple new mobs, uh, but the main two things were the nether, couple nether blocks, as well as uh polar bears were were pretty big that put it in d tier it wasn't super huge magma blocks obviously are used now for uh water elevators which is dope but other than that um not too they're not they're nothing groundbreaking in this update 1.11 was big and this is actually where the shulker boxes were added if i'm not mistaken they weren't added in 1.9 they were added in 1.11 um the exploration update added the woodland mansion which was this new big it was the biggest generated structure uh, ever added and it had all these new mobs uh vindicators vexes uh evokers it had the totem of undying that you could find which is a lifesaver in my hardcore world um and in anyone's hardcore world uh, and it also added let's see llamas were added exploration maps like treasure maps and stuff um and uh let me see observer blocks which i never used because again that was redstone um i'll put this in c tier uh, it might deserve b tier it is pretty cool um the shulker boxes especially totems of undying woodland mansions okay put it in b tier it's it's convinced me a little bit to to put it up there um it was pretty cool and i did i think i made a couple videos when the snapshots came out but uh other than that again like i said this is sort of where i sort of slowed down playing minecraft just uh sort of was growing out of it for the moment but i would come back as everyone did a couple years later the world of color update was 1.12 and I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what this all entailed. Okay, yes, I do remember this. The color of wool and everything uh, completely changed. It was much more vibrant now. Obviously, world of color, that makes a heck of a lot more sense. Uh, everything was just a lot more colorful. A um, little bit different hue. Uh, also, glazed terracotta was a very pretty decoration block that was added concrete. Uh, colored beds, that was awesome. People had been asking for that for a while. Parrots were added in the jungle. And achievements were changed to be called advancements. And they were now customizable. You could add your own advancements. But that, those were the big uh, changes there. And then there were a couple of new commands, whatever. Who cares? Um, this was actually a pretty good update. I'm going to put it in A just because colored beds and concrete and just the new color palette in general glazed terracotta so much great building aspect updates in this uh 1.12 uh that i use now is uh really really cool 1.13 the aquatic update everything underwater changed let me see i do know that coral reefs as you can see in the snapshot they're now fish you could see the fish swimming beforehand it was only when you were fishing and you caught the fish you would get the itemized fish now there were actual mobs swimming in the ocean like the squids used to do and now dolphins i believe were also added turtles i believe yep i see turtles and tridents tridents are super cool even though they're not like the best weapon they are actually pretty cool if you can get them super rare to get to but very very cool uh i'll put it in i'll put it in c tier just because outside of the ocean nothing big happened um but it was very very cool uh the aquatic update uh village and pillage was next 1.14 this only came out about a year two years ago i think um this changed villages completely 
Uh, there were now village biomes, different biomes for different villages. Villagers were revamped and had different skins for whichever uh, profession they had. Looks like foxes were also added in this update and pillagers were added. So pillager outposts and uh, raids, I believe, were part of this um, that, that were added that you could trigger. Uh, pretty cool. Again, I'll put it in C tier just because uh, I don't use many of these things that were added. Foxes are really, really cool, and the villages do look a heck of a lot better now. Um, but outside of that, nothing big, uh, nothing major. Um, and then 1.15, even less happened. The Buzzy Bees update. Uh, just bees and honey and and uh, beehives um, and, and a couple other things too, actually, if I, if I pull it up here. Um, oh no, that was it. That was it, wasn't it? It was a quick update though. That came out in December 2019. And then the next update, the nether update 1.16 came out in uh, early 2020. So bees, C tier, doesn't matter. The nether update is, has, is one of the best updates that have happened. I'm gonna put it in S tier because it was, it was incredible. Uh, it added a bunch of new nether biomes. You have the warped forests and the crimson forests. You have, uh, I believe they're called bastions, um, with blackstone and new piglins and, uh, you know, bartering systems and hoglins and I, what is, what is that mob called? Is that a hoglin? I think that's a hoglin. There's striders that you can ride across the lava lakes. There's, uh, respawn beacons that you can now basically, you can completely live self-sustained in the nether if you wanted to i don't know why you would want to but now you can and it's it's incredible the amount of changes to the nether in this update were unbelievable and so that's why it's probably my second favorite update outside of 1.4 um, and that's it we're up to date so next week 1.17 comes out which is the so it was originally 1.17 was supposed to be the the caves and cliffs update but they weren't going to be able to meet their mark for that so they pushed back the caves part of the update uh to be 1.18 which i believe is going to release sometime later this year 1.17 is going to be technically just the caves update i believe here's a list of everything that's coming up this does come out this comes out next Tuesday, June 8th, all right? So keep that in mind. Amethyst blocks, uh, amethyst clusters, okay, uh, copper. It looks like some of the cave features, just not the world generation, I think is the big thing. Deep slate, copper ore, um, let's see, what else? Uh, dripstone, um, lightning rods okay so a bunch of stuff is coming goats are coming um and then 1.18 is going to have all the terrain generation stuff which is i think going to be a lot cooler so 1.18 will probably be up there with 1.4 and 1. Point, i could see it getting an s tier uh ranking 1.17 as of right now i'd probably put it in b or c but i'll have to see when stuff comes out uh how that is um but yeah this is it this is my minecraft update ranking even though there's a lot of stuff down here in c and d you do have to realize that i still really enjoyed these updates it's just i'm very harsh with my ranking but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have a rating would be super duper very much appreciated other than that uh let me know what your favorite minecraft update is if you have one um and yeah i minecraft is the best isn't it oh my gosh just the best i'll see you next week for another video um and let me know in the comments what you want next month's ranking things video to be about uh but till then thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video very soon